channel Rack of Lamb. I am Maggie and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to bring some excitement to two vegetables. Daikon radish aka white turnip or bat lo bat and carrots or hong lo bat. You may recognize these pickled vegetables in Vietnamese sandwiches commonly referred to as banh mi. Interestingly my brother-in-law who is from southern Vietnam calls it banh mi and my other half who is from northern Vietnam calls it banh mi. However you refer to it these pickled vegetables really ramp up the sandwich. So I keep jars and jars of these vegetables in my fridge because they come in so handy when I'm making my own Vietnamese dishes at home. They also serve as great snacks. So if you're interested in learning how to make them, please keep watching. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon below to be notified of all my uploads. Preparation begins by cutting off the ends of the carrots and daikon radish. Using a peeler, I then remove the skin of both root vegetables. After those steps are checked off, I bring out my OXO Julian peeler, which is by far one of the best purchases I've ever made. If you own gloves, I would advise wearing them as you use the peeler, as the blades are extremely sharp. Be particularly careful as the vegetable gets smaller and becomes more difficult to hold. It will take a few tries to learn how much pressure is needed to julienne each vegetable, but once you have that down pat, this peeler will work like a charm. If you own a mandolin slicer or a food processor, you may opt to use those instead. However, I prefer this julienne peeler because it requires no setup, gets the job done fairly quickly, and is super easy to clean. It comes with a comfortable non-slip handle and blades that julienne with precision. Here, I am peeling enough daikon to reach slightly over half a pound, about 250 grams. As you can see, I was able to julienne a pile of daikon radish with little effort and time. The strips also come out uniformly cut. I personally don't have a preference with the length of the strips, but if you prefer them shorter, just place your peeler lower while peeling. Likewise, I am going to use a peeler to julienne about 250 grams of carrots. If you use this peeler for this recipe, you will notice that you can peel the daikon radish with more ease than a carrot. Daikon is less dense and has higher water content. It is also an excellent source of vitamin C, folate, and potassium. More on the crunchier side, carrots are also highly nutritious with vitamin A, beta-carotene, vitamin K, and calcium. Excellent for bone health. Before I purchased this peeler, I would manually cut the vegetables into strips using a knife, which took up lots of necessary time. I've also used pre-cut matchstick carrots. Like I mentioned before, be very careful when your vegetable gets smaller. The downside of this peeler is that it can get dangerous when you're peeling a tougher veggie like carrots. As you reach the end of your stroke, it may require a bit more force, so please be cautious and wear gloves if you own any. And just like that, I have more than half a pound of julienne carrots. Combine them with your daikon radish and you're one step closer to the finish line. While I follow a one-to-one -one ratio for my carrots and daikon, feel free to use more or less of each to suit your preference. I also prefer them in matchsticks when I pickle them, but you may cut them into thicker strips or slice them if you wish. Next, you're going to sprinkle these veggies with one tablespoon of salt. Give them a toss to ensure the salt coats each strand, then allow them to sit for 10 minutes. The purpose of this is to remove any odor. Salt also helps with removing water, so you will see the carrots and daikon lose their rigidity. After 10 minutes, run the veggies under cold water and rinse thoroughly to remove the salt. 
You will notice that the salt also removes some color, causing the daikon to look almost translucent when pickling. But don't you worry, cause the flavors will still be there. Drain the water in a colander or strainer and squeeze excess water out with a napkin. While I was peeling the daikon and carrots, my daughter stopped by to steal a few strips to snack on. She came by to steal more when they were salted and quickly came back to return them. You may have noticed her in my other videos. If you haven't, check out my pomegranate video and you will understand why she likes to steal my food. She just loves to eat, just like her mama. Now that the daikon and carrots are ready, let's grab a separate bowl and combine half a cup of sugar with half a cup of boiling water and mix until the sugar is completely dissolved. Now pour in half a cup of vinegar and give it another mix. Now place the daikon and carrots into a large sterile jar, or two sterile jars in my case. Pour in your pickling solution. Then add another cup of room temperature water, or a bit more if necessary, until the daikon and carrots are completely submerged in the solution. Since I'm using two containers, I've divided the solution equally between the two jars. Tweak my recipe to your liking, using more or less sugar and vinegar to suit your sweet and sour preferences. Close the jars up and let them pickle in the fridge for at least 3 to 5 days for optimal flavors. Top off your homemade Vietnamese dishes, or any dishes for that matter, for some added color, tang, and textures. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.